everyone knows how to part. <laughs> As the title of this video says, going back to Suriname for the New Year's. I mean, so when I was in Suriname, everyone was saying that the best time to be in Suriname is during the New Year's. People were even saying that I need to stay for the New Year before I leave. But you know what? I'm still within the Caribbean region and I was like, you know what? I have to experience the Suriname on the 31st and the 1st of January that everyone is talking about. So here I am booked a new ticket just to go to Suriname and uh, I'm super excited to be going back because it's actually one of my favorite countries one of the countries that I really enjoyed myself when I was there one of the countries that almost everyone in the country loves and adores what am I trust me I, I feel so famous in Suriname more than any country in the world man and I'm so happy to be going back to Suriname and I want you all to come along with me if you're excited like this video now and share this video to friends and family and happy new year to each and everyone watching this video but don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel come along with me but I'm not going alone I'm not going alone the first time I was in Suriname I went alone with my team but this time around I'm going with my wife and I know that we're definitely gonna have the best time of our lives in Suriname. Where, where are you heading to? Same Suriname. place you go. You're going to Suriname? Why are you going to Suriname? Because Suriname is a nice place. <laughs> a really nice place. Wow. You're not from Suriname? No, I'm from Trinidad, yeah. So you're gonna spend the new year in Suriname? Correct. Everyone is saying it's the best time to be in Suriname. Yeah, well, actually, at the end of the year, you know, big celebrations and whatnot. So it's all good. Is it your first time going there? No. No, the... no, it's not my first time. You go every year? Yeah. This is going to be my first time. I guess I'm really going to have a great time there. Yeah. Ooh. Hello, Suriname. Here I come. Let's party together. I can't believe that I'm back again in Suriname. Ah, not alone. Excited to be here? I'm excited. You know, we've been talking a lot about this country. I can't wait to experience it. How long are we going to be here? Just three days. Not so long. Three days is enough. Suriname. I'm home, yeah? <laughs> You're here waiting for me. Ah? Uh, How are you? I'm good. That's my wife. Okay, Miss yes. Trudy. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so you couldn't convince her not to talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And 
with all the love that I received any time I arrived in Suriname, I guess it's about time to make Suriname my second home. Can't believe I'm here again. Good morning from Suriname. Can't believe that I'm finally back in this beautiful country. One thing that Suriname does to you, as soon as you touch down, the entire country welcomes you, and it welcomes you with peace. You know what? This is where I'll be staying for the next couple of days in Suriname. And believe me or not, it's a partnership with a hotel, which means that at the end of the day, we are staying here without paying anything. And I just want to let you all know if we ever make it to Suriname or my videos inspire you to visit Suriname, make sure you stay at Toraika. I mean, we've got three different chains of hotel along this stretch and the one that I'm in is Royal Toradica and believe me or not, it's one of the best places that I've ever stayed. We've got the pool right here, the greens, the whole environment. It's super clean, workers are super nice and one of the things that I love about them is the food that they have in here. Good morning from Suriname. I am loving this place. Where do I start? The people are the friendliest people. This hotel we are staying in is grand. It is a group of hotels and it has been in existence for over 60 years and they have been improving through the years. The food is finger licking good. The rooms are so Cozy. They have a gym, they have a sauna, they have a pool. What is so special about Terraria? Well, it's the only place in Suriname where you can have a variety of everything that Suriname has to offer. The culinary, um, the environment, just everything that Suriname has to offer is here at Terraria. You can see it in our personnel. We have people from different races, different colors, everything is here. And uh, so yeah, if you ever think about a place you want to go um, win on vacation in Suriname, come to the best place that has the longest experience in hospitality in Suriname. Come to Torarica. Torarica, where Suriname shines like never before. Now that you all know where I live, let the three days adventure begin. When I first visited Suriname, I thought the capital city was the world's most emptiest city. Because whenever I go to the street, I don't see many people on the street. But I guess I was wrong because I've never been to this city in December. Trust me, the entire city gets filled up and it's all filled up with party after party. <laughs> what grab a chill beer because this video is gonna be super lit because the people of this city never sleep <laughs> But it was really interesting to see that the party is actually mobile. What do I mean by that? The people that are singing and performing are in a moving car. So in the next two hours, this car moves to another location where there's another party going on. Believe it or not, the people of Suriname really know how to party. Because what you see 
right now. It's actually a rehearsal for what is going to happen tomorrow, which is the main event. And I believe that is the climax for the entire three days adventure. <laughs> party to go and check out the setup what people are doing the preparation for tomorrow's event which is over the yari simply put old year so i guess this whole event is called the old year party or end of year party it's uh 3 a.m right here in paramaribo and where i am you can see that no one is here but the roads are blocked just for tomorrow because tomorrow is actually the big day where everybody is going to come out in their numbers to party so they are setting up the stage and i believe that most of you don't see the behind the scenes and since i'm here i have to bring you guys behind the scenes now in december no one sleeps in this city and since i'm here i guess i had to sleep for one hour and on the next day the celebration continues The festival just began and it's about time the people start with sweet water. It's more like a, a ritual to usher you into the main festival. So as you can hear right behind me, the people that are here are going to shower with this. You know, they shower you with blessings before you enter the new year. And you can see they're singing the national anthem of Suriname. <laughs> What is happening right now? So at this moment, they um, will use this water to to wash everyone and cleanse them mm -hmm. of every negative thing that they have maybe gone through or everything they want to get rid of for the next year. Wow. So, so they, they, they cleanse them right here? Yes, they cleanse them right here. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. So they do, they do this every year? Every year? Yes. It's really exciting to see that an African culture that was done behind the scene is done outdoor on a national level and, and different ethnicities are embracing it. Even people are coming all the way from different countries to embrace it. And I guess I got yeah, man. my brother from Zimbabwe from right Zimbabwe. here. And yeah. this crowd is here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my brother yeah. from Zimbabwe is here. Yeah, indeed. Oh, 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 what oh. I, I, you're, you're coming for the sweet water? Yes, for sweet water and everything is why, 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 why sweet water? To get into 2024 for a clean a new person. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. You heard that? So why are you not in Suriname yet? You're not going back, you're staying here. Uh, no, I just got here. <laughs> you just got here? <laughs> One more. I come every year. Five years ago, mm. I was completely paralyzed. Wow. I couldn't walk, I couldn't move my hands or anything. Look at me now. Oh. Wow. That's beautiful. Yeah, look at me now. That's, that's a testimony. Wow, that's a testimony. That's I know. Yo. I, I really want to know the motive behind sweet water. Now, in the old time, mm. then it is so that every end of the years we take a sweet water. That means water with flowers, leaves, and oils, and we wash the skin to remove all bad things away, to make space for good things so that we can start the new year. That only you your buku things. Wow. Who, who, whose culture is this? It's an African culture. The African. Suriname African It's a Suriname culture. African culture. Wow. How long has this been going on? No. Well, I take it from my grandmother. My mm. grandmother will be now maybe 130 years old. Okay. <laughs> my mother, every year we all go and take a wash in the garden. Garden. Uh, when I come bigger, then my, my chairperson, one of the under chair, the deputy chairperson, started to do it on the National Garden. National Garden. So it's from backyard? 
Come to on. national. National, got it. Ah, thank you so yeah, much. It's very nice. It's good things. Yeah. Good progress because uh, our civilization had a bad time. Yeah. Uh, especially in the Dutch uh, colony. Yeah. We don't. Uh, we can't speak. The, they don't want to speak the. Like you speak the language. Uh, and that is one things that uh, really bad. and all everything for us is bad. Mm -hmm. Everything is bad that they said. Uh, especially the church is one of the, the the organization in the slavery time that do very tough work. Uh, so that uh, yeah, we, we lose our our, our civilization. Uh, what we try to do in like organization now. To, to build it up again. Wow. Wow. To, to say that the, the, the United Nations said every culture got this civilization. And you have to start at the beginning of the year, you have to start with the civilization. Mm -hmm. And so that you can start with that and go further the whole year. Yeah. And so we change things. The culture is, is not dead things, it's still alive. <laughs> So, you know why I was rushing? I was rushing because I need to light up the fireworks for us to begin the whole festival at 12 o'clock. So I have to just keep moving. But it's exciting to see that I am going to do this today. But I've seen the legend right here. I don't know. I think the legend is also going to do it. But, hey, my brother, how are you doing, man? The legend. This guy, this guy is a living legend. Though. The living legend. It's funny when legends call you legend. <laughs> <laughs> You're a legendary, known all over the world, you know. Ah, good to see you what again, man. Oh, you are first with what with the Maya. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna light up the fireworks. Are, are we gonna do it together? Yeah, we're gonna do Cause, it because I want to do it with the legend, man. Great honor. It's a yeah. great honor nah. for us for you to do that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, man. Haven't Thank they you. crowned you Surinamese yet? <laughs> I'm waiting for the passport. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the passport. I don't think I need visa to enter this country no, anymore. No, 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 no. We'll talk about that later, man. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> she came. Oh, she came. That's you are the one she was, he was talking about all yeah. the time. My wife, my wife, like he's the yeah, only one yeah. with a wife. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a blessing. It's a blessing for us. Welcome, welcome to Surrey now. I'm loving it. Okay. And he so you do, do you know who he is? Here. Tell me. You know who he is? It's actually a legend, a living legend. You know oh. when, when, when you see Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. Lucky Dubai, that's how you compare him with. Wow. Is that? Who is he the one you've been talking about? Oh, uh, you remember the fried rice that I ate? Oh, he told me that night. He immediately got home. He called me. He told me, You won't believe who I met. The guy is like a legend in the country. He's only yeah. talking about Exactly. Him. And you're meeting him for the person. Oh, for, for the first time. It's so nice to meet you. He's comparing me with people. That if, when you go home, you have to explain. <laughs> <laughs> There is only, okay, for a few countries, and I, I, I'm trying my best, but the best part is trying to keep my people together and be as a, you know, um, yeah. yes. And he's doing a good job. Yeah. Can he be? Yeah. Ah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, my sister. <laughs> of the festival and it's so crowded but trust me all I see is happy people ready to have fun man Woo! I guess we're gonna have a good day today Actually, a festival on its own. 
which is called the Pagara Festival. So the Pagara Festival is actually the longest fireworks that is being shot in the city. And it was such a great honor to be one of the people who will be doing this today. Suriname. <laughs> Amazing, man. I'm super excited to be here. Uh ah! My star! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, what am I? Hi. Great. Great, great. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Me pretty tacky door. Ah, please be welcome here. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm your friend. Thank you. I know you from YouTube. The love in Suriname was so overwhelming to see the number of people that were coming to me to appreciate me and yeah I, I mean for the first time in my whole life I felt like a celebrity because everybody wanted a selfie with the village boy from Ghana. Look at the global impact man. This is crazy and I, I don't take this for granted to the people of Suriname. I love you. <laughs> I'm 
beautiful day in Paramaribo, a day filled with joy, happiness, fun and the fact that everybody dropped their differences to come together to party as one family was super late to see and I wish Paramaribo would be like this forever. Paramaribo is indeed the place to be in December 31st. In Suriname, everyone knows how to party. Where I am right now, it's more like young people coming together to have fun. But as I get closer, I get to see the old age also coming together to have fun. Man. never seen anything like this before. Literally, we just went to the room 30 minutes later, we're asked to come out because there's another concert happening. along with the biggest musician from the country and um, he happens to be my friend. We have a wonderful, wonderful person in our midst. Wow. It's my friend from Africa. He wants to show the world that Suriname is the most beautiful place. Uh, one of the most beautiful places. So when I say what is you say what? You say what is What is What is Yes. 
performed in front of thousands of people yeah. from this beautiful country. How does that make you feel? All of them singing along your song. I mean, I saw even people crying while singing your song in the crowd. Right? How does that make you feel? I feel lucky. I, I feel blessed. I feel given. They give this to me. You know, these people give this to me. If they, if they don't give it to me, I wouldn't have it. So no, I cannot do this by myself. So, so I, I'm blessed. I cannot say that I, I achieved this because I worked so hard. But a lot of people work hard, but you have to have the luck to reach somewhere. So I feel I, I'm lucky and I'm happy that I can I can think to my people. And I'm happy that I can talk about them, about, with them about love, about peace, about unity, about one people. What does this day mean to the people of Suriname? I think this is the ultimate day that we come together when we realize more than any other day that we are one. Because everything is a Suriname flag. You, you, and you have no, no, no race. End of the year is no race. So when you look in the crowd, you see everybody, all ethical groups, we are here to represent. And that's why we're happy to have you here, so you can show the world. That Thank you. Us. Thank you. But final question, why do you feel like it's so important to pay homage to Lucky Dube and Bob Marley? Because I hate to say that on stage. Lucky Dube was our legend. I believe Lucky Dube came here, came here two times in his life. We love, like we love you, we love Lucky Dube. So we still feel the pain. We love his music. So I'm happy to perform his song here for our audience to keep him in mind. my way I would have uploaded the raw footage for you to see how the people of Suriname really enjoy to party but because of copyright we have our Facebook page please do well to follow us on Facebook to enjoy authentic stuff with no music my name is Watermaya don't forget to like this video please 
subscribe to this channel. Let's help us hit 1.5 million subscribers.